Can you even have holiday baking if you're not making biscotti? Hi bakers, it's Angela from Cake Angel and I'm back with another festive Bakemas video for you. Today we're gonna make some orange cranberry biscotti and they are such an easy recipe. I hope you're gonna try this. Let me know in the comments below if you are a fan of biscotti and let's dive in and see how easy they are to make. So first of all, you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then we're gonna start mixing everything together in our stand mixer. Now for this, I decided to use orange and cranberry Berry, so I'm leaving those until the rest of the dough is mixed together. Make sure that everything is fully combined before you add your flavoring and this will actually give you a better consistency for your biscotti. So now I'm adding my orange zest and my dried cranberries and as always the full ingredients are listed in the description of the video below so you can go ahead and check those out once you finish watching. Once everything is combined you want to scrape down your mixer attachment and then we're going to start to shape our dough on our baking tray. Now you can see here that I have parchment paper on my baking tray and that's just because we're going to have to move it off the tray a couple of times with the different steps to form the biscotti. When you're putting it on the parchment paper, you want to smooth it into a rough rectangle shape that's about half an inch thick and approximately four inches wide. And then pop it in the oven for about 22 to 25 minutes until it's slightly browned as you can see here. Once it's cooled for 30 minutes, you then want to go ahead and slice it into half inch pieces, as you can see me doing here, and you'll actually get quite a lot of slices from one batch of biscotti. Then we're going to take that parchment paper, slide everything back onto our tray, and flip those slices over so they can go back in the oven for their next bake. Now biscotti comes from the name twice baked in Italian and that's what we're going to do now. So they'll go in for eight minutes once we finish cutting everything up. Make sure you don't lose any of those last pieces. Pop them back in the oven until they've browned again and we're going to flip them over again and then bake them one last time for another eight minutes and they smell and look great already. So the last bake is just to brown them up a little bit more, give them that nice crunch as well. And once they're baked, they will still be slightly soft in the middle and nice and crunchy on the outside. The perfect treat to enjoy with a nice hot cup of coffee or tea or even a hot chocolate. I do hope you've enjoyed this Bakemas video. Don't forget to check out the other bakes that I've done so far this holiday season and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.